Ranking, sorting and filtering can be applied in two ways in Excel Cubed, on the hierarchy or on the grid axis. In this video, we will look at how to apply a ranking directly on the resulting members of an axis. Here, I have a grid set up with product categories on rows and date on columns. I would like to rank the results so that I only see the top five products with the highest sales amount in quarter one. To do this, right click on the column containing the values to sort by. Select Apply Ranking. I will then choose top X rows and select 5 as the number of rows to return. Now the products have been sorted by sales amount in the first quarter and the top 5 results are displayed. This ranking is always applied to whatever members are on the axis. So I could move the geography hierarchy down onto rows and we see that the grid is still returning the top 5 rows, this time for the union of product category and geography. I can alter the ranking being applied by right-clicking and editing the axis. Here I can set how many rows to return. This value can be fixed or driven from an Excel range. I can also choose whether to display the top or bottom results, and I can change the slice that the ranking is made on. For example, I could change the date selection. So now we see that the products are ranked by the sales amount in quarter two. The same method can be used to filter or sort the members on an axis. Here, I can right click on the sales amount column and choose to sort by descending values. And here, I can filter to see only the bikes with order quantity greater than 80 